I'm in the studio, cooking shit up like a chemist. All on that bitch mouth, nigga, I'm a dentist. Petty Tupac TV, you already know. Tap the fuck in, man. We running this shit up. ABF or die, bitch. Yeah. What up, though? You already know how it goes. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. I told y'all I was about to bring Chapo 33 here. Better known as Killer Slam, mm -hmm. ABF, School Crap. Yeah. I did my job, y'all. What up, though, with you, bro? What's good? You already know how I'm rocking, man. On, on my way over here, I'm like, uh, fuck, I'm going to start this interview off, but low-key, I could just do it all off rumors or whatever. But yeah. we're we yeah. going to start here, though. Yeah. Back 0203, I remember I seen you, like I said, at the Rose Gold Grill. You pull up in the van, chopstick. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I'm like, I want to jump off the porch. Me and my homie, we, we want to jump off the porch and get into it. Do, do you realize how influential you, you was to the, to the neighborhood then? Uh, man, I'm going to be real with you. Back then, I didn't know it. I just I just was going with the flow, man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga had a lot on his mind back then, so shit. I was just going with the flow, man. You know? I had, a, I had the whole hood backing me up, so shit. Just going with the flow, man. In hindsight, would you have changed anything? Not looking back at it, yeah, I would have been more about the pay than more about being on the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what, that's what happened, you know? Niggas with money, you know, last a long. You know. A rock. Go ahead, go ahead. You know, the niggas don't fuck shit, you know what I'm saying? Because niggas that's on fuck shit don't last too long. I, I done seen it all, you know what I'm saying? Prison, all that shit. So if I, if I could look at it back then, I would have just been trying to get money and put all my niggas on the money, same type of money time time I was on, you know what I'm saying? W was you rapping back then, or, or when did that start if you wasn't? Ah uh, shit, I was rapping back then, but I wasn't taking it serious. Like I said, I was, I was too more focused on the hood, gang banging and shit like that, you know, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Trying to put a name for the hood, you know, school crab shit. What made me start rapping more is when my homie Jock got kicked. You know what I'm saying? That's what you know, I started rapping and shit. Jock was nice too, but. How did you get so much better? Because from the time you had the King Tut alias yeah. to now, nah, the rap don't change a whole lot. Sonically, schemes, metaphors. Uh, uh, what, was it incarceration? A lot of times sit down. Yeah, what was it? Yeah, yeah, being in prison and looking back at shit. So I was like, shit. When I first was coming out, I was really, you know, I'm just talking crazy. You know, just a young wild nigga talking crazy. But by me getting locked up, you know, I say, shit, I want to give him more real rap. You know what I'm saying? Let them catch on they self. You know what I'm saying? Give them more real rap, something they can feel, something that I know that's real, and niggas that been around me can relate to. They know that's real, you know, especially if they know what I'm talking about. So shit, yeah, like that. I seen the, I seen no the cop. cap though. I can't give them no <laughs> cap. Well, yeah, we gonna get into that too. Yeah, I, I got a question about that, but uh, I seen the comment. They said that you kind of like a Detroit form of drill. Would you agree with that or not? Ah oh, man. Some, some like that, but I want to say like my music is more, you know, rated X, X violent, exclusive type shit. It's, it's it didn't get uncut, uncut raw type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it's a call it drill type, you know, drill rap, but I call it more demon time. You know what I'm saying? On demon time, you know? uh, definitely is. Uh, now in the, in the song, everything I, I don't get a bar right. You said. Me and Doja took his life. I get a rush from catching bites. I love when I die. Pull up, broad day. Make his mama cry. Me and Doja took his life. Just hypothetically, was you talking about like a person or was you high off Doja? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, Doja is my brother. You know, that's my brother. So, you know, me and Doja took his life. You know what I'm saying? Fuck me, I had to pay the price. Yeah, man. Hypothetically, I just had to know that because I ain't catch yeah, that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, some people thought that was weed. I was talking about I was how weed or how, you know what I'm saying? But no, I was talking about my brother, you know what I'm saying? See, uh, it be basic punchlines like that, 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 that'll fuck you up. But niggas know what I'm talking about, you know? Shit get real. It's, it's deeper than rap, you know what I'm saying? Nah, is it is it two sides to school craft? We're not here. Oh, oh yeah. Love that. Oh, hell yeah. What's, what's the, oh, what's the yeah. difference? Oh, yeah. And also, too, you said... 
you, uh, Southside be the foe? What, what you mean by that? Yeah, Southside be the foe. That's us. You know, that's the blocks I got on my hand. Kentucky, Indiana, Wisconsin, Ohio, Cherry Line, North Line, Cover Line, Rose Line. That's the Southside. Anything else above that, we call it the North Side. You know, but, you know, we got niggas cool from over there, too. You know, I got partners from over there, too. But okay. the South Side is more of my side. Yeah. The rough side. The, the, the side where it gets real wicked. At, you know what I'm saying? Are y'all still united like y'all was back? Because I remember before the Red Wing stuff, it was like Schoolcraft, Free Squad, something like that. Everybody was real cool, sorry, all them. Is it still like that over there, or is it real divided? It's, it's, it's divided right now. Right now, it's something, um, you know, but it's divided. Be, you know, niggas have got their own personal problems, but everybody family. You know, everybody family. That's where ABF, ABF come in and all about family, you know. Niggas ain't on no gang banging shit no more. Niggas like more of getting money, you know what I'm saying, than being on some fuck shit, you know what I'm saying? So, ABF, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's where that coming at. When did ABF come about? Oh, man, you know, shit, like I said, it was a family thing, you know. Instead of trying, you know, school, you know, we was going by Schoolcraft, Southside, Red Wing, Jack Boys, you know, that's still, that's still, you know, us. But ABF, all about family, you know, that shit sound, you know, more. I'm like nigga, somebody like, yeah. yeah, you know, and all about family. We treat, I treat my nigga like he my family, you know, a nigga I grew up with, you know, and my family. Instead of saying my blood, my cuz, that shit sound, you know, we don't want to make it sound too raw, you know. I'm, I'm giving you real shit, so you know, this shit is a family thing, not a friend thing, a family thing. Like you, shit, we go way back, you know what I'm saying? You my family, you, know? you ABF, you know what I'm saying? So it going to go like that, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. already. Now on the, on the south side, just on social media, I see a lot a lot of big bees over there. Oh yeah, you know. Uh, was you influential to that or what? Cause uh, you was the first one I seen or heard. You know, he look, doing this. You know, you know, my hood been claiming been the red flag over there. You know what I'm saying? Since back in the day, since I was a kid. You know, sight. You know, you know some dead niggas, some vice lords. You know, it's been popping. But when I grew up, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to have my own shit going, you know what I'm saying? My own group of niggas that, you know what I'm saying? We putting that work together, you know what I'm saying? It was, it, you know, it get wicked. My life story is a wicked life story, you know, but nigga can't say too much on these cams because, you know, I've been indicted by the feds and them, them white people will send me right back up the road. But let me tell you something. It is a good story to venture off into. You know? <laughs> Big fact. But, you know, you know uh, just, just know, just know that School crab, that it's, it's bloods over there. Don't get me wrong, it's bloods over there. Yeah. We gang bang. E everywhere in the D, they gang bang. But ABF is something new. You know, you got, you can say you got gang bangs, you got Crips, Bloods, GDs, college kids, video, him, a video man, your rapper, Fresh. me, you know, people that do anything is ABF. So it's not no gang no more. I ain't trying to have it a gang no more because once it's labeled as a gang then the people hit us with the Rico and they try to make us look stupid like all the black people just dumb and no, nah, we ain't going for that. Uh-uh. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? And you had a song called a while back. It was called Come Talk To Me. You remember that? Yeah. 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 That song got me motherfucking indicted. That, <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucking song, man. That's where I was about to go. They said that he picked up when you called him up, man. Tell them, tell them where you over here. Just go grab him for you. They said that uh, mm -hmm. the ending of it when dude got shot in his head, the feds came. It, it, I mean, it wasn't yeah, real, but. It wasn't real, but them motherfuckers said this shit was real, man. They locked me up, man. Gave me motherfucking two and a half years for a bitch ass video. What? You know, I said I had a gun. And listen, you know, this goes out to everybody. I'm going to give y'all heads up. The police will lock you up if you got a gun in your video in possession in your hand. And you a felon, or if you're on probation, say for instance you're on probation and you decide to put a gun in your music video, you're going to jail. No if ands, buts about it. The video can be five years from now until they get that motherfucker. Once they get it, your ass going to jail. And that's how they lock me up, man. Even if they can't put a date on when you did it? Man, I wasn't trying to fight the bitches, <laughs> man. I was scared. I ain't gonna lie to shit, man. I, it's um 98% chance that you might lose, you know? I ain't never heard nobody beat the feds. And if a nigga said he beat the feds, shit, he was Takashi 6 9 You know who, how he turned out, shit. Yeah.
Yo, 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 what up, though? It's your boy OG Low Nitty. Coming to you from the OG TV 313 Network. I want to give a shout out to my man Petty Tupac TV. Streets. They on deck, too. They here. Get in. Get in. We Streets got, bro. Here. We on deck. Hey, shout out to Capo 1 and 2. The whole B Street fam. My baby Keisha, my mama. Petty Tupac TV. And all subscribers and all supporters. We love y'all, man. We finna turn up this summer. Watch.